Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part two of my full platinum walkthrough for Resident Evil 7. Right, so we're doing the old mansion in this video. This is going to be the first time we're in the old mansion. We need to come back here in a couple of videos' time as well. Uh, we're going to fully finish this place off. The main boss or antagonist for this area is Jack. You've probably seen the trailer. You know, you know this game. It's old. <laughs> I'm sure you know. So we're going to be doing lots of files and collecting and some miscellaneous trophies as well. So here's file number four. I'm going to show you after I pick up each file. Again, I'm going to show you, make sure you've collected it. Uh, it's there. Uh, if you die after collecting a file and you haven't had a quick save or a regular save, then you are going to need to collect the file or the... Mr. Everywhere or the coin or whatever it is. Uh, again, here's the here's file number five. The newspaper article missing, missing people. So you're safe now at this point. Nobody's going to come jumping out at you just yet in this area. So kind of get used to get used to this area, wandering around, looking at all the drawers. Uh, I have obviously put all the items up in the top corner. Um, they should all be the same. For the most part, they will be the same. I'll point out some that may be different as we go. Uh, things do change up, especially in boss areas. Item placement can change. So this is our way out. This is where we need to go down here. So get get used to the layouts of the rooms. So you've got this here, because we are going to be chased through here in a moment. Um, so you need to get to that, that hatch there, and you're going to need to unlock it and jump down into it while Jack is chasing you. Sounds scary, but it's actually not that bad. These here, I'm just going to mark these when we open... Oh, no, I didn't get around the corner. I'll show you afterwards. <laughs> so I'm just going to do closed door here. You'll get this at some point behind closed doors. It's a trophy for closing the door in the game. I do actually want to keep it open because we're going to run through here. So as you walk down here, Jack's going to appear. He's just going to walk to that table and stand there for a moment. And that's what the hatch key is on. So we need to just go and quickly grab that. He may grab you like that. And if he is close, just hold up L1 and then just run away. And then back away, holding L1, which is block. It's You do a surprising amount of damage negation by blocking in this game. So just run back here. Don't worry if he grabs you and chases you. It's fine. Just block it run back through here now I did try to close the door here and I'm sure but he must be right behind me uh, you can circle the dining room if you want and try and make him um, back off that way but it's actually okay that this happened because it showed you this little cutscene this doesn't necessarily happen but will always happen if he grabs you in this room uh, it won't happen if you get through the hatch without uh, him grabbing you it won't happen then so just in case you think you're dead, you're not at this point, so grab your leg. And um, and he's going to drop this on the floor. He's basically teasing you. And you've got the strong first aid kit, which is obviously stronger than regular. And we're going to make a run for the hatch again. So when you get to the hatch, you need to press X. You're going to quickly need to move on to the key. And then you're going to need to uh, use the key. And it does take a second for the hatch to open up. So you're going to need to block, and chances are he will grab you again. But don't worry, you've got some health on you. So quickly move to the key. I should be blocking here at this point, but I'm not. I think he just grabs me, which is fine. You're not going to take any damage from that. And then just quickly drop down here. Not the the most, not the prettiest way to get through this area, but it's the kind of the quickest. And health-wise, we're going to be doing fine. Don't worry. Getting knocked about is fine. Uh, again, we're getting get, going to get lots of checkpoints. See if you see the swirl in the top corner, that's a checkpoint. So there's antique coin number two on that lawnmower. Make sure you pick that up. Uh, none of the items in this area are missable yet. We ha we are not going to leave this area for another couple of videos time. Uh, so nothing's missable yet. So don't worry. You can also always come back and fill in any gaps. I will let you know when we're going to leave though. Uh, yeah, and you pop out here, and this is a safe room. If you play Resident Evil, I'm sure you know about safe rooms. They are, as the name suggests, completely safe. Nothing can get in here. So look into that orange container. You're going to find a lockpick. We'll use that soon. And then you're going to get uh, a herb and some chemicals there that mix those together. So if you go across, if you press triangle, then go across to combine, uh, you can make yourself a healing item there, a first aid, and you can use it as well. So there is a trophy for crafting one of each of the items in the game. There are only eight uh, I will let you know as we do it so you can kind of 
tick it off. So do that one there. Get that health item. That's one of the seven done, so you don't need to worry about that one anymore. Uh, this is an item box, so you can drop anything you don't particularly want to carry around with you in this, and you can pick it up in any safe room. And then this over here. No, there's nothing else. That's wet socks. We don't need those. Uh, this here is a save point. You don't need cassettes. That's only on the hardest difficulty, so save as many times as you like. Uh, there is a Mr. Everywhere. I did just do a save there, but I cut it out. So save as many times as you like. Whenever you see one of those or you just want to run back to a safe room and save, just go and do it. Uh, there's no penalty for do not doing so. So as you try and leave, Good, phone's going to ring. I'm just going to skip it there. Just listen to the whole thing there. I don't need to listen to it again. Uh, if it's Zoe there, if I remember rightly. And then we're going to just wander around a bit. Jack's not going to be around, so don't worry. We're just trying to get the policeman to trigger. He's going to stand at that window. Once you hear knocking on the window over there, then you can go and speak to him. I'm just kind of wandering around trying to make it trigger. Uh, you may notice there was a bobblehead under the uh, cassette recorder. Uh, we can't break it yet. We don't have a weapon. So don't worry about that yet. We're going to do it shortly. But there are 20 of those we need to break as well. Have I heard it at this point? I don't actually have the audio on, so I can't tell at this point. I think it's as I go back into the dining room. It might take a moment, don't worry. Just wandering around, trying to get it to trigger. I think it's as I go in now. As I go down here, in here, yeah. So if it doesn't trigger, try going into that room. There he is. Uh, I'm not going to speak to him. Well, no, sorry. Make sure you speak to him, but you're not going to see it. I'm going to just fade through. Uh, he's going to give you a knife. This is going to happen. This has to happen. So get the knife off him. And this is the knife we're going to keep for the rest of the game. So if you're out of ammo, then this is your last resort. You don't want to be relying on your knife, trust me. Right, so I'm going to put these... This one will always be handgun ammo times five, but whenever we usually see one of those... I'm going to put, when I, sorry, whenever we see one of those, I'm going to mark it down as wooden crate because it can be run. Most of the time it will not be and you will get exactly the same as me. But I have noticed that quite a few can be random. So go back into the save room and then hit the uh, Mr. Everywhere there. You're going to get the trophy for hitting your first one. And then we're going to go around here and do number two. This door is where we're going to get to shortly. We're going to go through there. There's number two. And then the handgun and the car key is part of the boss fight, uh, which we're about to do in a moment. So we have just saved, so don't worry about making another save. You've not done much. Or if you do die, uh, then obviously make sure you get those Mr. Everywheres again. And then we're going to run down here. So this fight's really easy. It's, you don't actually have to do that much uh, if you know what you're looking for. So use the knife on here and then press the button. And that's going to open the garage door up. Police officer is going to be there, and he's not long for the world, <laughs> let's just say. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a boss fight, would it? So, as he gets killed or sliced in half, um, I get demonetized and he drops his gun. So, you can move forward, you can just keep an eye on his gun. It drops just behind him and Jack. You can walk past Jack as, um, as he drops his gun. So, he's dropping it now, and it's going to bounce behind Jack now. So, if you just quickly run, pick that up. And then run over to this desk, pick up the car key or this workbench, get in the car, and then start the car up. And that's it done, pretty much, as far as the fight really goes. There's not really much to it. So, yeah, that's all you need to do. And then just keep reversing forwards and backwards. So reverse back and go forwards. Hit, keep hitting Jack. At least three times you need to do it. Just keep going. It'll bounce all over the place. And then he will eventually, you'll hit him and he'll just disappear, which I think he does this time. Which is fine. Let's go move on to the next part. Might need to move a little bit. And then he's going to, where is he? Where are you? There you are. So we're going to rip the roof off. And then he's going to steer us around and uh, try and kill us. Now there is one little extra bit to this fight. I do get grabbed. It's the first time I've actually ever been grabbed in this fight because uh, I miss. I'm. If you've seen my streams and you know me, you know I'm terrible at first-person shooters. You're gonna see in a while, especially with in Resident Evil, with the heads wobbling all over the place. So this is this is gonna happen. Don't worry, nothing's gonna happen here. This is all scripted. You're not gonna die, but 
Jack is not dead either. You're going to see him twitching when you look over. Yeah, he's not gone yet. He's gone all Terminator 2 on himself. Right, so you're going to notice the car is on fire. This is why we picked up the gun. Uh, the car's going to explode, explode pretty quickly. Uh, you just need to keep Jack backs enough for it to explode. Uh, and then he's... Um, and that's the end of the fight, basically. If you can get two shots to the head, that should be enough. I miss with the first and the second. There we go. And I miss again. <laughs> that was terrible. It's recording nerves, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, it's it, it, probably not too bad if you get grabbed anyway. Because the explosion will happen pretty quickly and that's it. But if you get a couple of shots to the head, you're going to uh, stop him advancing and the car will explode pretty quickly. And then we'll get the items in this area. So you shouldn't have taken much damage, if any. So you'll be fine. So we'll just do a quick sweep. We've got first aid med in this uh, this cabinet here. You've got some chem fluids in this corner. And then hopefully you get handgun ammo. I mean, like I said, it can change, I believe. Most of the time, it should be exactly the same as me. Handgun ammo there. And then we're going to leave. Don't worry, this is a, again, this is scripted, but it's not uh, a fight. <laughs> it's a suicide. Um, okay. And on we go. So top at the top up here, you got some shotgun shells. Just one. But that later on can be a complete decapitation of a certain enemy. So that's fine. So spin this, pick this up, spin this round, unlock it, unscrew it. And then you're going to get the ox statue off it. And this is what we're going to put into the door to open that up. So that's this first area done. You can come back here and we will come, not to this garage, but uh, first part of the house will be back here. This is our safe room for a while yet. Well, a little while. Again, if Jack... He, Surprise, surprise, he does come back. He's not dead. He was never going to be dead. He killed himself on purpose. Um, when he does come back, safe room behind me. Run back to that if you're getting panicked a bit or whatever. It's always going to be there. So run around here. Use the ox statue. And then we're in the main area. There's a few bits to grab in here. We've got a mist everywhere here to start with. You always use the knife. Don't use the gun, by the way. That's extra ammo you don't need to be using. Some herbs. Is there anything in here? We've got some gunpowder. And here's antique coin number three. Make sure you get that. The phone will ring. I will skip this. We don't need to watch it. Of course, you're going to have to. You have to listen to it. When we do the speed run, I'll literally leave these parts in because they the, the timer is still going. So this is the door we need to escape. We need three dogs' heads this time. Uh, here is the clock pendulum. Clock pendulum, Jesus. Um, that's an easy dog head. We can get that in a minute. We're going to go and get that in a moment. This is file number six. There we go. Now we're going to get a quick trophy here. So if you go into this plinth and just put anything on it, Anything that will be accepted, it doesn't really matter. Basically, you just need to put something wrong on here. And that's what we're doing, and that's going to give you the trophy. Nice try. There we go. Lots of easy... There are so many easy trophies in this one. Some chem, chem fluid under the stairs. Uh, now we'll run back into the uh, the dining room. And we're going to get the white dog's head. So the first one, that's what the, this is what the clock pendulum is for. So if we just come over here and use the uh, pendulum we just got. And then we'll do a bit of in, uh, yeah, inventory management. We'll go and unload. Always like try and travel as light as you, you think you can. So you can pick up as much as you uh, as you sort of find, so you don't have to remember where certain things are. It's always a good idea. We 
what am I doing? I don't know why I stood here, what I'm thinking of. I can't remember why I did this. No, <laughs> I must have been thinking of doing something. Thought, I was probably thinking of, should we do some bullets now, but we'll leave it. So put the shells away, we don't have a shotgun yet. Um, you're definitely going to want to put the coin away. You're going to want to put the dog's head away as well. No, I didn't do... Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Keep the dog's head on you. We can put it into the door now. It's not essential. You don't need to do it now, but we can get rid of it now. I'm obviously reading my notes there quickly. <laughs> That's why we're walking slowly. Yeah, it's hard to... It makes it look easy. You know, you see these videos, it's all done together. But remembering what you need to do, especially in a game like this where there's lots going on. So yeah, go and put the dog's head on now. You don't need to do it now, but you might as well get it out of the way. Shotgun, if you take it off there, you'll get locked in uh, until you put the shotgun back. So we need something to replace that shotgun, which we will get. So I'm going to come upstairs. Don't worry, nothing's going to happen yet. So there's a full circle, basically. You go all the way around there. So grab that. Hopefully it's handgun ammo. It should be at this point. You're not going to get randomizations yet. And then use a lockpick and get yourself some more shotgun shells out of there. Don't ever save lockpicks. There's no need. So if you ever see anything that needs unlocking, just unlock it. It's going to be the same as me, I, I presume, isn't it? Anyway, go into this room. This is going to be file number 7. It's actually going to be number 8 on the list, but for us it's number 7. So just as keeping count. We've got an antique coin on here. And then we've got a bobblehead of Mr. Everywhere there. There's one of each collectible in this room. There's the shotgun we're going to use to replace. We need the scorpion key first. Got some gunpowder in the bin here. So pick this book up, twist it onto its pages, and then open it up again to reveal the dog's head, the blue one. In this drawer is file number 8 for us, but number 7 on the list. So there, Jack's journal. I don't think there's anything in this bin. Yeah, always open containers and doors and things. You never know what's going to appear. Again, random randomization might kick in. And here's video number tape, uh, video tape number 2. This is Mia. We do need to watch them all, so we're going to do that now. And there is actually a trophy tied to this, is Catch Me If You Can. Uh, you have to get through this whole videotape without being caught by Marguerite. Marguerite? Marguerite? Yeah. Mother, basically. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. And you can do this as many times as you like. Just keep re-watching the video if you fail. It doesn't take long. It's like five minutes. So you do need to watch it all the way through. That wasn't me. I don't, I don't know what happened. There's so much that you need to know. There you are. And there she is. So we're going to be Mia. We don't have any weapons. The only thing we've got is being able to hide. That's all we can do. This is going to be the next video. This is the next area of the game. This is the old house, I think. Yeah, old house. So go through the door, go left. And go through this door here. Go around this lovely stuff here. And then out into the hallway. Now you will see her. You will hear her. There you go. Once you hear her, hide behind this crate here. And then just wait. There's lots of waiting in this, unfortunately. You will see her light. You'll you'll hear her coming through. And then you'll see a light appear on the door. We're waiting for her to go through the door that was on the right-hand side. So you can just, when you see the light go dark, you can just edge forward and make sure she's gone through the door. Once the door's shut, you're free to go. There you go. Right, on we go. I stay crouched. Honestly, I don't run. It's probably okay to run, but I don't want to chance it. And then we're going to go in this room, and then outside, and then go all the way around. You can't use that yet, unfortunately, because you've been chased. And then sit here. 
I'm going to skip it, but it's a good three or four minutes. Just sit here. Marguerite's going to come outside. You're going to see the lantern, and then she's going to go back inside. Just going to have to sit here for... It's a good two, three, four minutes, something like that. So just keep track of her and just edge around the corner and make sure she's gone once you think she's gone. But it's a good minute in the room, and then she'll come outside. She'll stand outside for a bit, and then she'll go back in. So do wait. Don't. It's not going to happen like that. But I didn't want to leave it in the video. It would take forever to to wait. And uh, yeah, it's just <laughs> just watch me wait. Uh, when she is gone, you can come in here and move this thing around, and then you're going to match it to make it look like a spider. When it looks like a spider-ish, it doesn't need to be exact. It needs to be close, but not exact. Uh, just press X, and uh, it should accept it. And then it's going to open the door. And then we're nearly done. So just shimmy shim through. Any day now. And then you're going to want to go behind these crates and then just move forward slightly until you hear Marguerite's come through. There we go. And then go back behind here and you can see where she is. Don't go around. You can sort of just look through the cracks on the bottom of the pallets and the uh, crates rather than move round in case she spots you. And just follow her around slowly. She will stop at certain points, so just back off. You can go off the audio cues more than anything because I've got the subtitles on. She will say the same thing and move at the same pace. So when she's saying this... Yeah, embrace us. When she says embrace us, you're clear. Don't run, just crouch. And then drop into this hole and you are done. Uh oh, so she will say that she kind of spots you and that you, uh, you're not going that way, something like that, and she'll block it off. That's fine. Uh, we just need to wait for the end of the video now. Don't worry, that doesn't count against the trophy. That's supposed to happen. That is grim. <laughs> so there we go. That's the end of the video. And if you did it successfully once the screen goes back to normal, once we go back to Ethan, you'll get the trophy. And there we go. So, um, yeah, so that's two videos watched. Uh, again, if you failed that, just watch it again and go through it all again. Uh, crafted another health item there, I think. I think that was, yeah, because we were about to pick up another herb, so there we go. Now, Jack is going to be back once we go through this door. So Jack will be back once we try and leave got some handgun ammo there. You've got an antique coin in the corner here in the toilet. That's number five. And then drain the, the, the bath. And this is going to be the wooden statue which we're going to use on the plinth downstairs. That's going to unlock that. So yeah, Jack's going to be back. This is obviously scripted. This is always going to happen. He's got a new weapon this time. <laughs> So just make him walk around the bath and then run to the left and you can drop down here and that's going to take you back to the safe room that we've been using for a while. So you can compose yourself. You can save if you like. You can drop some items off, which is what we'll do. Make ourselves run a bit lighter. So we never need to carry antique coins. We don't need the tape anymore. We'll, I think we even dropped the dog's head. We don't need the shotgun ammo because we've not got one yet. Just put one of those away because we may craft some dog's head. And there we go. So yeah, go and uh, do a save at this point. There's no no reason not to. And then we'll uh, carry on. So if Jack didn't bust through this wall for you on the first time round, he will do it this time. With his roller. So if that's the case, just run back into the safe room and see which way he paths. Hopefully he does the same as me. 
But the idea is we just need to get into that main room again. So just wait for him a moment, see what he does. You can open the door slightly. If he's off there to the right, then you are good. Go. I have no idea how he spots He must hear me. But I'm sure he spots me. He says it underneath. Sure he says it. Yeah, stay right there. Like he spotted me. Uh, he must have heard me running. Anyway, we're going to run through here. And we're going to quickly use the wooden statue on here. And this time it's an eagle. Not really difficult. Again, you don't need to be super accurate. Just close enough and do it. If you can't do that as you approach the plinth, it means Jack is behind you. So be ready to press L1. Run him round a bit, go back to the safe room or what have you, and then uh, come back. It seems a lot scarier than it actually is, especially when we get to the harder difficulties and we're able to actually drop, drop him uh, so he's not chasing us anymore. It's not so bad. So you've got some handgun ammo underneath the deer. This crate here, I've just marked as wooden crate. Hopefully you get the same as me, which was ammo. Here's Mr. Everywhere number five, so break him. This we'll come back to later on. There's some handgun, handgun ammo in the drawer. There's a herb over here in the corner. There's some psycho stimulants on the table, which we'll use later. There's actually a trophy for using those. As it says there, they are used to find items. So you take them, and for a, well, it's about a minute or so, all items will be marked. They'll have a marker. You can see where they all are. That needs a lock pick. We'll open that up later on. There's quite a few shotgun shells in there. This is a note, but it's not one of the files. So don't worry about that. It looks like it should be, but it's not. Antique coin number six here in the ashtray. And this is going to be our first mold monster. Though. No, there's nothing in there. Don't worry about that. And this is going to be our first mold monster. So with these, you're going to want to go for the head. So it's going to break down. And you'll see what I mean about the wobbly heads. So as they run towards you, you're going to want to go for the head. If it goes for a swing, obviously hold up L1. Oh my god, I'm so bad with this with his guns, with his shots. There we go. So yeah, always try and go for the head because two, three, uh, it's three or four good shots to the head will make its head explode. And once its head explodes, it's dead. Otherwise, you'll just be pumping a load of ammo into its body. Potentially, its arms will fall off or whatever, but it will still chase you down. So headshots, hopefully you're better than me. This is why I prefer the shotgun, because <laughs> you don't need to be as accurate. You can still miss with it. Anyway, in, we, in here we go. This is another safe room. This is safe room number two. So here's note number nine and ten. So read the front. And then turn it round. You'll hear a little audio cue and then read the back. And that's two. That's Jack's memo, front and back. So, uh, it were not, yeah, Jack's memo. No, Travis's memo, sorry. And we've obviously got our save point. This is another lockpick thing we'll use later. Uh, I think we don't actually get this one. We might come back and do it at some point, though. Some handgun ammo in the cabinet. And then we'll do uh, unload what we don't need. So that's the coin, the psycho stimulants we don't need yet. The gunpowder we'll keep along with the chem because we can make some more bullets. And then we'll do a save. And then we'll leave. So... Mold monsters is what we're up against now downstairs. As you can see, there's lots of mold everywhere. Uh, if you don't do a decent run of this certain part of the certain points, then come back. If you you know you waste all your ammo or you get hit loads of times or whatever, uh, just do uh, load up your save again and then um, try again. Honestly, so as you come around this corner, there's going to be one here. So again, try for the headshots. They do try and guard. There we go. That's a bit better. Sometimes they do guard. Don't go in that room to the right. There's another mold monster in there. We'll go in there shortly. We're going to... Yeah, I thought I could hear him coming up behind me. I'm going to go for this green shutter here. And open this up. Before we clear this area, we're going to go and get the shotgun. So here's coin number seven. Next to this pallet. 
and then we've got two wooden crates and the map for this area which is called the processing area i keep hearing i swear i keep hearing them <laughs> they do it on purpose with the audio so hopefully get some bullets there this is where we are now this is the whole processing area some more handgun ammo there there is actually a herb under there as well uh, i didn't pick it up i'll pick it up later on so that's a, a loop round. that's the, the stairs we came down initially you got a treasure photo over here we will go back to get that shortly a lock pick and then once you take this key out this is going to activate the enemies in the area so before going down there i was just going to go and uh, grab a few bits but i can't pick them up because i'm full so we'll use a full a few bullets to get rid of these so he's going to drop down from the ceiling in this room just to the left there he is nope yeah nope <laughs> panic <laughs> didn't guard i thought i'd have him on that that last shot there corners are actually these guys worst enemy because they their attacks are quite forward facing their, their lunges and things like that so as they lunge round corners it leaves them open which is quite good now we've used now we've used a few bullets we can actually have some space but if you just go through here there's going to be another one it's going to come out of it there yeah they do like if you get the headshot they will come running at you and that's the thing with these things ah come on <laughs> Give yourself some space, it's always best to do. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he was doing. See what I'm saying about corners? They just kind of lunge forward. Get completely confused there. It's always best... I know I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm obviously not doing the same myself, but... Line your shots, shots up and just wait. I, I'm guilty of it myself. You're going to see it quite often. So I'm just going to make sure I've always got a health item as well is line up your shots and just take the moment rather than firing a load of shots off uh, and missing it's best to do that right so you got some shotgun ammo here here's mr everywhere at number six so smash him and you got some psycho stimulants we can't pick up or i can't if you can pick them up uh, i will come back and pick those up and use them so uh, we will be back for those and that's going to be the trophy one we use it's just one of those things you think, oh, I'll use those later, but you never end up using them. <laughs> Maybe that's why there's a trophy for them. So if you did take... I know it's probably a bit late saying this now. If you took a, a lot of damage, a lot of damage, uh, then you don't heal. If you don't want to use a, a healing item, you don't need to use one uh, right now because we're going to pick something up called steroids. So we're just going to drop off the photo. We don't need that anymore and clear out a few other bits. Um, steroids, which is going to increase our max health, but it also refills it at the same time. Uh, so you don't have to use it straight away like I do. I probably should have saved it, actually. And once we've took a few hits or took some damage, then used it uh, to increase our health. So this, because we've picked up that photo earlier on, uh, the treasure photo, this we can now move and pick up the steroids. Now, I use them straight away. I probably should have held off but that will completely heal you. So if you don't want to use it just yet, you don't have to. And you're going to get your max health is also going to increase as well. So we're going to just save it and uh, increase your health and get all your health back at the same time. Then do that. So we now have the scorpion key so we can use it on this door here. That's going to lead back into the main room. Jack is still about, so beware. So, yeah, watch out and just go the opposite way. Oh, bit of a tear there. He is... Yeah, he's here. Whoa, there we go. So I'm going to just do a circuit all the way around. I'll go. keep going all the way. Don't go into the room because that's the room we actually want to go into. If he is there, you're going to try and want to lose him, which I have managed to do. Make sure he's not there. I think he's... On the other side of the, this wall here now. So use the scorpion key here. 
get in this room shut the door behind you if you have to I'm not sure if he can come here I think he can so watch out and then pick up the broken shotgun and we've got uh, so a note here this is file number 11 memo about relief which is here we're going to be picking number so that's a number 11 to us but it's number 12 on the list don't need those teeth <laughs> got some chem fluid there got some handgun ammo there yeah, I keep hearing him outside. So I can't pick these shells up. So what I'm actually going to do now is I think this is the point where I make... Yeah, this is the point where I make the ammo. So that's two knocked off now. We've got the health item and the ammo crafted out of the eight things that we can craft. We can't craft them all yet, obviously, but uh, that's two down. So do tick them off. It Make yourself a little note or something. Make sure you, when you whenever you do it, then uh, tick it off. So there's another, another note number 12 which is number 13 on the list the other one is actually downstairs so I want to make a run for it in a moment where is he I think he's there run <laughs> yeah just run I was trying to drop down into the safe room and go from there but no we'll just have to go this way I think I'm too full. Yeah, this is why I'm just trying to get to the safe room. Is I'm too full because we're going to need to pick the shotgun up before we can put the other shotgun down. So we need two free spaces, which we don't have. Uh, I'm just going to open up this as well, which we have that lock pick for. Because I forgot to do it earlier on when we came through. There's lots of places. You can't go wrong anywhere, anywhere you unlock. So there should be some shotgun shells in there. They will obviously come in handy later on because we're about to get the shotgun and then going to drop off some stuff we don't need to give us some room so we don't need the scorpion key anymore we'll drop off the ammo do we drop off the ammo no just the key yep just the key okay it's been a couple of days since I recorded this <laughs> usually I'm more usually I record these straight after doing the editing Nope, we're okay, we're clear. Just need to make a run for this room here. And then pick this shotgun up. This is the M37. We're actually going to replace this shotgun quite quickly. The one we're going to put down now, the broken one, we can actually fix. And I think is a better shotgun. So you can load it up now. We'll use this shotgun for the boss fight that's coming up. Uh, and then I'll actually replace it. So with the boss fight... I will remind you, or if I'm, this is why I'm telling you now in case I don't remind you, I forget. Um, I know that's not very good, sorry. Don't reload at the end of the boss fight. So just quickly run in here, make another save, because you've got a couple of, not difficult bits, but you might take some damage, it might go wrong. So do a quick save, just so it's a, uh, you can go, you know, make a nice clean run of it. And then we're walking all the way back around here and then into this room we told I told you not to go into. So there will be a mold creature in here. He might not be here straight away. Sometimes he is. Or he might drop from the ceiling there like that. That's why I was backing up. So I can get back out and give myself some space. Oh my god, he got a headshot. Oh no, he missed again. <laughs> there we go. Nice. That's how we want it to do it. That's how we want to do it. nothing in here we've got some strong chem fluid underneath the bench and this is file number 13 so 11 on the list the one with the gap so incinerator room memo so do remember if you do the repeat if you do go back on your save then you need to pick that note up again make sure you have all the the, the gaps filled in i'm actually going to craft some of the super ammo here so that's another one ticked off uh, to switch it, you need to hold L2, so aim, and then press triangle, and that's going to switch your ammo. You can see it in the bottom, it has the little plus on it, that's how you know you've got your stronger ammo in. Don't open William, that's the wrong one. I'm actually going to switch back to the normal one, I don't want to use my not, my stronger ammo yet. No, that was the wrong one. So it's the end one here, and it's the one with the handprint on. I've done this loads of times, I don't know why I got it wrong. And it's going to pop open, as soon as you get, get it open, 
back away. There is one inside, and it is a stronger one. Has a big claw. And then we'll use the shotgun to try and pop his head off. Which we do. Much better. And then you've got the dissection room key in here. So that's... It's not a particularly tricky room, but, you know, with that, that stronger one there, you might struggle a bit. You might uh, miss a few shots or whatever. So uh, we've got another tricky-ish room. It's not tricky. I don't want to say tricky because it's not. It's, it's really not compared to, you know, some games. This is not tricky. It's just you might not go your way. Uh, do another backup save. Just do a quick save there. You might as well just quickly run up the stairs and do it. Um, I'm not too proud to say that I've been doing them as well just in case anything goes wrong um, yeah we want a clean ish run we don't want a perfect run because that's no fun to watch anyway we're gonna go back downstairs and go through this room here we've got some handgun ammo in here in this bath and then when you get to this bath over here don't move forward just stand at the bath and one's gonna come out the wall don't move to meet him because another one will appear from the right hand side just let him come down and meet you no, oh, no, I thought I had the, the kill shot. Obviously not. So when he's down, then you can move this way and another one's going to appear. That's what we want. Make them, yeah, that's what we need. When they just come running straight at you like that. Right, so there's two there that we just got rid of. And then there's this room here has three of them in here. So straight away, there's one in the corner. So you should be able to take his head clean off, do a quick reload, and then go into the left-hand side. There's one there, and there's going to be another one from the right. He's going to come to meet you. Where is he? There he is. Did we not get the kill on? No, this is the one that pins me down. <sighs> he's, been, he's had a shotgun blast to the head. Come on. See, I was saying, don't panic. Don't shoot. <laughs> Uh, otherwise that's going to happen. Like I said, clean runs aren't fun to watch, are they? This is not... I thought I was going to die here. I have no idea. He was not getting off. See, shooting these guys in the body is just not effective at all. Even this, the headshots are just not doing... I must have hit him three, four times in the head now. One of them being a shotgun blast. It's that random headshot, isn't it? In the... Uh, Resident Evil games. Finally. <sighs> Not the best. See, this is what I was talking about. If you do that in every single one, you're going to want to just quickly run back on your save and do a cleaner run. So, shotgun, shotgun loaded. you got some more strong chem fluid in here. I'm going to make a strong um, first aid med. So that's all four of the ones we can do right now made. So again, have that little list. Tick all eight off as you go. Make sure you do them. You've got plenty of time to do them, honestly. But um, just get them done early and then you can, you're free to make whatever you need later on. Most you'll want anyway, naturally. So I'm just going to skip that there. You try and grab that and then Jack's going to take it away. He doesn't know you're there. Or he, he's trying to play it off that he doesn't know you're there. Uh, shotgun shells there. Now we're going to go and do the boss fight. So there's a boss, there's a trophy during this boss fight. There's actually a quick save that's going to happen here, an auto save. It's happened just now. So we're going to actually going to be using that. I'm going to rewind this uh, when we've done this boss fight because there's a specific trophy we need to get in this boss fight. And getting it can require taking a few hits and messing around a bit. So you're going to be able to, you're going to want to do a cleaner run. There's a poor old uh, Mr. Policeman. Didn't go so well for him. I'm going to go through here, go and get the gunpowder. You could actually leave these first few items because we have to rewind and get them again anyway. I will mark them all again anyway, but grab the gunpowder. I'm just going to craft anything. Do I do f go for health? I just need a slot, that's all. That's what I'm doing it for. 
because we've got to pick up the red dog's head which is here so Jack's fight this is Jack's proper fight now has two phases we need to get to phase two so we do actually pick up the head there the dog's head we still we have it now so when he drops down just back away and then just start wailing into him try and go for the headshot if you can if you kick these bodies you can see that they press X whoa what the hell is he doing it says you can press X on them um, if you do that it knocks him back slightly if it hits him obviously use L1 to guard you got a crate there and in the opposite corner from the crate so diagonally opposite there we go there's a little kick <laughs> keep going until he uh, there we go uh, behind me in the opposite corner of the crate is a healing item in the corner if you need one of those. So when he drops down, hit him with a shotgun blast and then just stand here and try and pick up the chainsaw. We don't actually need it because we're not going to take him on properly, but uh, just for... If it does go well. Uh, so what he's got now is his super chainsaw thing. Uh, what we need him to do is a certain attack and we need to duck it. Duck underneath it. So he's going to sort of rev up and he's going to come running towards you. He's, he holds them wide up in his arms. You're going to see it in a moment. And then he's going to come running towards you and you need to duck underneath the attack. Uh, and that's going to get you the trophy. You don't actually need to be anywhere near the attack. You just need to duck when he does it. So keep guarding. This is what I was saying. We're going to be taking lots of hits waiting for him to do the attack. I thought he'd do, he was about to do it then. It will kill you in one shot, the attack that he's about to do. So watch out. The, the attack we're looking for. Anytime now. No, he keeps doing the swings. I think he does it now. Does he do it now? Nope, he's doing more swinging. Come on, Jack, play ball. Ah, he got me on that one. No fair. Right, I think he does it soon, now. Nope. <laughs> oh, any time now. I think it's the next loop round. I'm pretty sure it's the next loop round. He usually does it quite often, to be honest. Is he going to want to duck underneath when he does it? No, that's a swing. I'm, it's, my, it's his next attack, I promise you. So yeah, back him away. And I'm pretty sure he does it now. There, when he does that, you're going to want to duck underneath, which I completely didn't. But I still got the trophy anyway, that's fine. So when he does that, he's going to potentially come charging at you. Uh, that's what you need to duck. If he gets you in that scissor, then you're going to uh, die, basically. It's a one-hit kill. So just wait for him to do that. And once he's done that, restart and then try again. Go and collect everything up again. You've got the chem fluid in here. You've got the gunpowder downstairs. And then we'll actually do this boss fight properly. Yeah, because it is it, like we were waiting for a long time then for him to do it for me. Taking loads of hits, unnecessary hits. He'd already finished his attack when I ducked. <laughs> yeah, I still get the trophy. So it's quite lenient. Hold up guard here because he may come for you, which he doesn't always. He didn't the on the first time. And we're just going to keep going for headshots. Try and get some headshot when he's messing around. There we go. This is what we like to see. Plenty of headshots. Oh, come on. <laughs> Guarded, walked off, and then he grabs me. Always guard, even if you can't see him. There we go. Just hit him with a single. Get it. Always reload your weapons as well. So at the end of this fight, don't reload your shotgun. Because we're going to switch it again. Grab the chainsaw. Now you can go into him with the chainsaw now. But I'm actually not going to. I'm going to use the shotgun instead. Try and get him dropped down onto the floor. Yeah, he would have, he's not going to. I don't think he does the attack again. Yeah, 
There we go. So when he's down, then switch to the change sword and then hold L. Uh, so aim it like a gun and then R2 and then go into him a bit if you can. Do a bit more damage. Okay, because you can't get too close to him to uh, to go into him with the chainsaw because he'll get you with his. There we go. That's the attack. There it is in its full glory. So I duck when he does that. There we go. Oh, we've got two in a row now. The funny thing is, if he runs at you with it and you duck, it actually still gets you. <laughs> it's not really funny. Anyway, so with the second and third one, there is potentially might start swinging, so get behind him before you start um, using the chainsaw on him. So my shotgun's empty now anyway, but if you do have some rounds left, don't load it. It's not the end of the world, you'll, you'll at most lose four. There we go. So this time, get make sure you get behind him because he's going to start swinging around, and then get into him with a chainsaw. When you get these sort of little cuts in, you'll tell when tell when it takes control. That's the end of the fight. And then he's down. He's going to actually get too close. I was going to try and kick that thing into him, <laughs> but he he exploded. And that is Jack done for good this time. So in the corner is the first aid med. We've got the wooden crate as well. Do me a favor and stay dead. Shotgun shells for me. Now, this is where it starts doing the bit of randomization. Uh, you may not get shotgun shells. Obviously, don't load the shotgun if you do get them. Just have a look for items. That was the first aid kit I was mentioning before. And then once you're done, make sure you've got everything. Then you can use a chainsaw to open a metal, a steel... Not a chance in hell that would work. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. But it's going to break the chainsaw anyway. It'd be nice to have, but they've got to get, they've got to find a way of uh, removing the chainsaw from your hands. And through we go. So there's no more enemies. Nothing new is going to pop out. So you're free to run back. And I'm actually going to run back downstairs and grab those psycho stimulants. And we're going to get that trophy. So those ones I, I couldn't pick up before, which were down here where the uh, the bobblehead was, Mr. Everywhere. If you pick them up, then you'll need to go back to your lockbox, your item box, and just grab them. Well, you don't need to do it yet. You just need to remember to use them. So I'm going to use them here. Have a quick demo of what they do, which is uh, show you where things are. So here's some herbs I missed. Like I said, there is uh, one over in this corner as well. So you get the trophy. That's the main reason we're using it. In hard mode, we'll actually be wearing some x-ray goggles the whole time, which are like permanent psychostimulants, which is you know pretty amazing, to be honest. You just tell where everything is at all times. Uh, I did, I was looking for the item box there, I was thinking, do I actually need to go and get anything? No, I don't. And then I get through here, I think, no, yes, I actually do. We need the second head, the second dog head. Yeah, I was just checking, I haven't put it in. So I just need to go and quickly grab that. Oh, Granny's gone. And uh, yeah, we're done, this is the, the old mansion done for the first time, we will be back here. Uh, in a couple of videos time not anywhere as long we just need to go uh, upstairs there's a few different doors we can now open uh, or will be able to open should I say so I'm just going to grab those heads and put those in here and that's going to open the door and you're going to get you ain't getting away that's a story trophy that is guaranteed and in here is a lockpick, so it's still the psycho stimulants are still about, which is good. Just round here is an antique coin. 
that's number eight. And then here we have some separating agent, which actually removes the chem fluid from certain things. So if you used it on bullets, you'd get your chem fluid back. If you use it on health, you'd get it back. Um, can come in handy. Um, I hardly ever use it, to be honest. So rip open this uh, panel under here, under the porch, and then go underneath. Open up the crate. Now this is guaranteed you will get a repair kit here. So that shotgun, we can now repair the one. So I'm just checking. So don't load it at this point as well. Uh, there's a mister everywhere here. There's actually chem fluid to the right of these stairs as well. If you want to grab it, I'll get it in the next video. And this is another safe room. So we're just going to clear up a few things in here. So you've got an antique coin here on the table. And then you've got uh, file number 14 here. This is Zoe's investigation notes. And then we've got a few things we're going to buy here. So we're going to use all those coins, those antique coins that we've been uh, collecting. We can actually use them to do actually serve a purpose. We need eight of them. I think it's eight. So keep your actually put the repair kit away for now. We need as much room again as we can because we're going to pick up another shotgun and we need to replace it. So bring all your coins out. And then we're going to need, yeah, it's eight. So we're going to put three in this one and then five in the other. And that's going to lock it. Just these two. Don't put any in the cage off on the table. That's the magnum. We don't need that till later on, if at all, to be honest. Uh, there's very limited ammo for it, so we don't want to use it. So it's steroids and stabilizers. I'm going to use them both, but again, same thing again. Um... You can use the, the steroids, you can wait with the steroids uh, and get the full health boost if you want to, you know, uh, re heal yourself if you want to do that. The stabilizer increases your reload speed, so you can use that now. You can definitely use that one now. The phone will ring when you try and leave the trailer, so just answer that. I'm just going to skip it here. It's Zoe again. And then I'm going to quickly run back to the main house before we finish this video off. Uh, collect that shotgun and then put the other one back again. And then I'm going to repair this shotgun. Now, if you prefer to have four shots over two, then you may want to keep the older shotgun. This is uh, only a two-shot shotgun, but it can fire both very quickly and is extremely powerful compared to the other one. It seems it anyway. Um... I think it's personally a better shotgun, or you can repair the handgun and use the, the special ammo, and it's actually quite good, but again, I'm not a very good shot, so I'd prefer to have a shotgun. The, if you're good with a pistol and uh, you want to use some of the, uh, the super ammo that we can craft, then you can use the pistol. We can actually repair both of these things. The, the pistol's actually here, the handgun's here. Uh, we can repair both in this playthrough, but I'm going to do the shotgun first. So I'm just going to switch the uh, repair kit across, and then I'm going to use the repair kit on the shotgun. And that's going to give me the M21. And that's the shotgun I'm going to use from now on. And that's where we're going to leave this video. So I'm going to put the broken handgun away, the coins away, and lockpick away. No, I'm going to keep that for now. Right. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you do a save. I'll see you on the next one.